Hey there, so today I am uh, back with another awesome 2D flat design template that I hope you're gonna like. Before you open the project file, I suggest installing the font I used and provide it in the description and text file. This we are gonna be on the same page. Now after you install the font and open the project file in After Effects, you are going to see on your screen exactly what I see. First, let's edit the text layers right here. Now what you have to do is double click on one of the text layers. As you can see it's uh, highlighted here. Type your desired name. I'm going to type my channel name, feature, and you can repeat the steps for the second text. Double click. I suggest using the text tool so you can highlight only the admin that is bold and type of feature. And this way the text stays center with the boxes. As you can see here, in the layers panel you have a color controls layer that well controls the colors that you see so click on it press F3 to bring the effect controls and as you can see here I tried the naming this as specific as possible so you can understand and as you can see here I write first text which is this one because this one appears first on the screen and this one is the second that is the second appearing on the screen also if you do want to read all of this thing you can click and drag the tab so you can enlarge it now here if you want you can edit every color this is the background so let's give it a, a yellow and like this let's change the um, the boxes so they uh, they pop up more I'm gonna choose a blue light blue and I'm gonna use the the pick color too and I'm gonna copy it, the color here also if you want you can change the text layer here I'm gonna use hmm, let's see dark dark blue now after you edited the, the template you are ready to render make sure you have the main tab selected as I did go to composition add to render queue and in here you have lossless and maintain 1080p. Click on lossless to change the format. I suggest using AVI or QuickTime. So I'm going to use QuickTime. And in here for audio, make sure it's in auto or on, doesn't matter. Because the template has sound, auto is going to render sound. Here you can use 44100 or 48. I'm going to click OK. And in here, click on the main 1080p to give it a, a name and a new preview. Tutorial. Use desktop if you want. I'm gonna save it right here as this. And now all you have to do is click render. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it that you have to do. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful, and you also found it easier to edit the template. And as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all your support. And I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Bye.